Mm hmm? Uh, sorry. I didn't realize I was thumping. Uh, yeah, sorry. It's like an unconscious thing I do. Mm, kind of like tapping your foot when you're impatient, but a hundred times worse. <laughs> I'll, I'll try and stop, though. <laughs> Yeah, it's absolutely horrible. I have no idea why they're not opening a second register or something. Oh, because at this rate, we're going to be here tomorrow. You're in a rush? Oh, well, that just makes it even worse for you, then. If you want, you can go first. Well, not that it matters much since whoever's at the register's scanning so slowly. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Makes me want to go back there and scan it myself. I mean, come on. Beep, 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 done. It's not that hard. Uh, do you think they're like a new worker? Or maybe they're just tired or something. <sighs> yeah. I always try to see the best in people. Maybe they're just having a terrible day and they really, really shouldn't have been called into work right now. I used to work retail too. Absolute nightmare. <sighs> Your boss thinks you have nothing better to do than work at any hour of the day. The customers assume you're either their slave or keep asking you a thousand things while you need to get a certain task done. It's just so frustrating. Not to mention the occasional Karen that comes in. <sighs> Some people are just filled with audacity and nothing else, you know? Uh, are you sure you're okay? You seem even more frustrated with this line than me. Uh, what are you in a rush for? Ah, you're on work time? At this hour? Ah, oh, jeez. That sounds awful. What do you do for a living to be shopping for someone else? Ah, a personal assistant. I imagine that might be a lot like working in retail. Literally being paid to help someone with everything they do sounds like it'd get people in the habit of treating you like a servant to some degree. Yeah, that sounds really awful. I could never last in a job like that. I'd cuss them out as soon as something like that happened and get fired immediately. So, since you're still on the job, I guess you're pretty good at it. <laughs> I mean, silver linings, right? There's probably millions of people out there who would do worse than you at your job for one reason or another. So you should never think you're the worst at your job. Because if you were, they'd simply fire you. <laughs> the fact that you still work the job you do is purely a reward for the fact that you're better than most people might be. Anyways, I'll stop bugging you. I'm sure you have better things to think about while waiting for this queue to get smaller. Ah, uh, really? <laughs> That's so sweet of you to say. I don't get a lot of people saying they like my voice. The go-to compliment is the ears or the tail or the eyes. And we all know what I like your eyes really means. I mean, I totally get it. Play Bunny and magazines like it have really made bunny girls like me, well, a category on sites you don't want to be a category on, to say it politely. But compliments like, I like your voice, really show, to me at least, that you're actually complimenting me as a person rather than like, bunny kind as a whole. Honestly, more than you'd think. Lots of people out there who want a bunny girl as their partner. Both ladies and gentlemen. I think it's for the same reason people want goths and, uh, what do they call it now? MILFs? 
Yeah, but regardless. I'm happy you like my voice. You've got a very pleasant voice yourself. No, I swear. I'm not just saying that. I really do. I never lie when complimenting someone. That does mean I give less compliments than most people might, but I don't care. Because it means when someone does get a compliment from me, they know I really mean it. Really, if I say I like your voice, that's me saying I really like your voice. Not just returning the favour of a compliment. <laughs> well, I'm glad that it makes you feel better about yourself. You're too cute to be down like that. <laughs> really? I'm not usually the one to start a conversation, but I'm happy you asked me about my thumping, because I really wanted to talk to you, to be honest. I just couldn't figure out how to strike up a conversation. But now that we're talking, <laughs> we're talking. And that means I can actually tell you how cute I think you are. Look, I don't want to keep you away from your job. I think the cashier is finally beginning to pick up the pace a little over there. But if you want to, I can give you my number and we can meet again sometime for a date. <laughs> I would honestly love it if we could. You seem like you're really interesting. And your job is definitely interesting as well. <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, wait, let me give you my card. Hmm, I think I have it somewhere over here. Ah, there it is. <laughs> okay, so that's my name, number, and email address. No matter how you want to contact me, I'm available every single day. For at least a few hours. Yeah, I run my own company. Nothing big, just a small service industry. <laughs> but it makes good money. Uh, if you ever come over, I'll give you a discount. Oh, oh wait, no, not service like that. Um, <laughs> I mean, we help people plan activities. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm so embarrassed. I, I didn't mean to imply anything like that. N no. N not that there's uh, something inherently wrong with that kind of job, but um, but I'm not providing that kind of service, <laughs> you know? God, I'm just making the hole deeper the longer I keep going, aren't I? I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm usually a lot more composed than this, but I'm just really struggling for some reason right now. Maybe it's just because you've got an effect on me. I mean, I, I, I do feel that I'm blushing a, a little bit, but <laughs> I didn't think it'd be this bad already. I, I, yeah, I mean, bunny girls get flustered really easily. <laughs> Even when you're not actively trying to flirt with me, <laughs> it... Might already be too much for me to handle, really. <laughs> oh, especially since I really like you. Oh, I, I know, I know. We, we've barely met and you're in a rush to get back to your boss. <laughs> but I can't really help it, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you just see someone crossing the street and uh, something in your head just kind of clicks. <laughs> Life suddenly feels like it makes sense. Not that anything in your life has changed all that much, but you've just seen someone that you feel is just... right. I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> yeah, it might just be instinct, but I think we'd be really great together. Uh, of course, we don't know each other yet. We've talked for, what, ten minutes, tops? And we haven't the slightest clue if we'll ever meet again, assuming you don't call me. <laughs> and I know humans prefer to have this long dating thing where you get to know each other and dance around the point for a long time, but most monster girls just have... 
instinct, I guess. <laughs> we can just feel it. Uh, feel how compatible you are with someone. <laughs> Trust me, it feels really weird. It's not quite a sixth sense. But it's also not quite knowledge, either. It just feels like we're hungry, kind of. Oh god, I'm terrible with words. It's hard to express any of this, so I usually don't. But I'm trying to explain to you that I, uh... Well, I think saying I love you already might make me come across as really weird, but it's not far away from it. <laughs> if you'd want to, uh, and I'm not saying you have to, of course, <laughs> you can just say no, and I swear, I won't bother you ever again. But if you want to, I really want to go out with you sometime. <laughs> You can pick the place. Anywhere. I'll pay. As long as I can afford it. <laughs> but I really would do anything for you to just give me a chance. Uh, I get it if you think I'm coming on too strong. <laughs> it's kind of overwhelming to me, too. I just... I don't usually feel this strong about someone I've never met. And I was hoping that you'd give me the chance to see why that is. Yeah, I know we're in a grocery store and I'm spilling my heart to a stranger. Very, very aware of that fact. And uh, how awkward it is. But just give me an answer and I'll either get out of your hair or try and be quiet to make it less awkward. <laughs> But in either case, if you answer quickly, this entire situation becomes a lot less awkward. <laughs> you, you're willing to give it a shot? <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm just, uh, uh, no, wait. Uh, I'll try and keep it zipped. <laughs> I promised you that. Uh, you you think it's cute? I'm... Uh, oh, oh, you're making it worse now. Huh. Uh, uh, okay, I, I know this is just a, um, an absurd question. Like, like, really totally insane. But, uh, would you mind if I kissed you right now? <laughs> I, I just... I need to do something to vent this. Or I feel like I might explode. Uh, I can? I, um, uh, thank you. I, mm, mm, mm. Oh, oh, my. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Need to stay calm. Um, I can handle this. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry if this entire conversation has been a roller coaster. I am pretty sure I'm just as embarrassed as you are. I'm just a bit of a mess right now. Uh, well, uh, let's be honest. M more than a bit of a mess. <laughs> a big mess. <laughs> totally lost control of my thoughts for a bit. <laughs> just, uh, very hard to keep up with myself. <laughs> Um, let's start with, uh, uh, thank you for kissing me. <laughs> thank you for putting up with what must be the weirdest way you've ever met someone, and uh, I hope to meet you again very soon. <laughs> uh, all right, bye, I'm gonna get out of here now. <laughs> what? Oh, right, groceries. Right, I was buying things. <laughs> Can't forget the things and the stuff. <laughs> um, you're very close. <laughs> um, very, very close. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I just, uh, 
Um, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I can barely feel my legs anymore. <laughs> You're just turning me into jelly at this point. <laughs> oh, you like that? Oh, God. <laughs> um, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. This, this escalated very quickly. <laughs> I don't think this is decent for a supermarket, <laughs> and definitely not while you're still on the job. So if that cashier would please hurry up so that you can get back to your job, and I can get back home and just sit there and think about how soft your lips are and how sweet you smell and how good you taste, and uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I just, uh, well, um... I really need to go home right now, because I cannot be held responsible for my actions if I spend much more time in your presence. <laughs> it, yeah, that intense. <laughs> Which, to be fair, isn't exactly your fault. <laughs> it's mostly mine. But still, probably best to, <laughs> you know, chill for a bit so that we don't spend the rest of the week in a bed and get you fired. <laughs> uh, just... Uh, um, th thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for giving me the chance with this. Uh, thank you so much for just striking up the conversation. <laughs> if you didn't, uh, I might have seen you walk away without a word between us. And you'll be the one who got away, but... Well, um, let's just say I really, really look forward to our date, you know? <laughs> uh, definitely. But I think I'm going to explode right here if we talk too long. Um, so if you don't mind, I'm just going to take this to the cashier and uh, we'll meet again. Uh, really soon. <laughs>